Destiny patch just hit, and with it come sweeping changes to many of the Explorer classes in MapleStory. You've just talked to the Dark Lord and decided to sign up as a Shadower, but what has really changed since Destiny arrived? Today I'm going to answer some of the basic questions that many people have regarding how Shadower works and weaves post-Destiny, as well as some settings and keyboard options that can be used to ease the process. Afterwards, we'll touch on some advanced mechanics that can be played around with once you're comfortable with how everything works. Hello everyone, my name is Chiseler, and I'm a Shadower main in Barra that has been maining the class for the last year and a half or so. In that time, I've become very familiar with the inner workings and nuances of the class, from skill rotations to weaving mechanics, and best in slot hyper, link, and node setups, things like that. Since Destiny has arrived, many new players to the class have had many questions about how the class operates, especially since the main weaving rotation has changed slightly since pre-Destiny. I wanted to put together this video to walk players through the basic weaving mechanics and hopefully address any questions or comments that you may have had. First, we're going to explore the basic boss weaving rotation for Shadower's main bossing skills. There are three key skills that are involved in this rotation. The first skill, of course, is your assassinate skill. This is unlocked when you reach your fourth job advancement and is your main source of damage against bosses and other one versus one targets. The skill is characterized by two distinct animations. For the sake of this guide, we are going to clarify what these two animations are. The first animation is characterized by your character performing a short horizontal attack in front of you while reaching backwards away from the attack at the same time. This first portion of the assassinate animation is commonly referred to as A1 within the community. We will be using the same name for it in this guide and future videos. The second animation is characterized by your character lunging forwards and slamming the attack downwards, which some people also refer to as dunking. The second portion of the assassinate animation is commonly referred to as A2, and will be denoted as such for future guides and whatnot as well. Special attention is to be paid to this portion of your assassinate use, as this A2 animation is what is damage boosted from other skills we will go over next. The second skill in your boss weaving is Meso Explosion. Meso Explosion, shortened to ME for the sake of this guide, is first unlocked in third job and can be used while the toggle for Pickpocket is active. Pickpocket causes Mesos to drop from monsters, while Meso Explosion will cause them to fly about and attack said monsters randomly, at a range of about half your screen. Using Meso Explosion after each A1 A2 rotation of Assassinate is very important, as Assassinate will generate Mesos, while Meso Explosion clears out the Mesos and adds additional damage to your bossing weave. However, Meso Explosion is changed yet again in fourth job based on the final skill that is crucial for your bossing rotation. This final skill is Blood Money, which is a skill brand new to Shadowers in Destiny. Thankfully, this skill is a passive toggle, meaning it will always be active during a boss fight with a single press of a button. What this skill does is it turns Meso Explosion into a version of the skill to specifically use in bossing. It should be noted that Pickpocket and Blood Money cannot be active at the same time, as the former is for mobbing while the latter is for bossing. When active, the Mesos that drop from Blood Money will turn red, and when Meso Explosion is used, will cause the Mesos to attack the target within range with the highest HP only. Using this skill before your next assassinate will also allow you to gain the Murderous Intent buff, which is characterized by this red symbol over your character and will buff the A2 portion of your assassinate to inflict 50% additional final damage. This final damage boost to A2 is huge for Shadower's damage output. It's important that this buff be maintained while weaving as much as possible. Before we get into the weave rotation, we are going to check some keyboard settings first. In your search bar, type in Keyboard, which will open your keyboard settings from your control panel. It is very important that the top bar for repeat delay is set to as short as possible. This will reduce the delay penalty while weaving if you happen to miss a key press, making the delay much more forgiving and keeping your attack speed up. Some Shadowers also like to lower their repeat rate if they are still having trouble. However, I never noticed any noticeable differences when I changed this around on my end. With our keyboard settings in place now, let's get back to using the skills we talked about earlier. So how do we use these skills together to perform Shadower's boss weaving? The rotation is very simple, but may take some practice to get used to. The rotation we're going to be covering today is called the AAM method, which is the shortened version of A1-A2-ME. This rotation simply uses A1 first, immediately followed by A2, and finally using Meso Explosion shortly after A2 is used to clear out any generated Mesos, as well as reapply the murderous intent buff that was consumed when using A2. In my keyboard layout here, I have Assassinate on my Control key, Meso Explosion on my Z key, and Cruel Stab on my Shift key. 
Your keyboard layout will depend on what you find the most comfortable at the end of the day, but I like to keep these skills close together as you are constantly weaving meso explosion while using these skills in either mobbing or bossing. But anyways, back to boss weaving. Again, the rotation is A1, A2, ME, A1, A2, ME, so on and so forth. You can see how I lift and press the keys alternating between Assassinate and Meso Explosion to perform my weave. Holding the Assassinate skill will automatically cycle through the weave, however you will need to tap your Meso Explosion key, sometimes multiple times, while not holding Assassinate to proc the explosion. You can see how it looks for me with my on-screen keyboard in the corner of the screen. Performing this weave and getting used to the timing will take some practice. I recommend entering the Mulong Dojo Fog Forest training grounds here and just wailing into a boss totem to practice the rotation. Shadowers need decent speed infusion and a greed potion to hit the hard speed cap. If you are using all attack speed boosters and are hitting the hard speed cap, normal weaving will result in about 70 assassinate uses over the duration of a 30 second battle analysis. Newer players may have trouble with the timing to reach 70 assassinates in 30 seconds, so now we can look at an option to reduce the key inputs required to maintain consistent weaving. In your search bar, type in sticky keys to bring you to your settings for this option. When I turn on sticky keys, I only keep the top option selected. I haven't dove into the effects the other options will have on the rotation. What sticky keys does is essentially presses a single button for you while putting in keyboard commands to simulate a button being held down, while in reality it has only been tapped once. You no longer need to press both buttons at the same time to perform keyboard shortcuts with this option enabled. The unique effect this has is by holding the control key down, this instead will count as repeatedly pressing the key over and over rather than simply holding it down. It should be noted that in order to use this method, Assassinate must be placed on the Control, Shift, or Alt keys only. Meso Explosion can be on any other key. With Sticky Keys enabled, the weave simply starts with pressing and holding the Assassinate key, then immediately pressing and holding the Meso Explosion key as well. This will automatically cycle between the skills without needing to lift your fingers off the keyboard at all. There are some pros and cons to this option, with the pros being that it greatly simplifies the weaving process and consistently allows you to use buffed assassinates at a very steady pace. The disadvantages are that you still need to let go of the keys when working Trick Blade into your weave, and that you are unable to perform an advanced mechanic we're going to discuss next, known as animation cancelling. For these reasons, I would only recommend using sticky keys to newer shadowers who are learning the class for the first time. Those who are more experienced in the class and looking to get everything they can out of it should aim to use manual weaving in order to allow for advanced mechanics. Several classes in MapleStory have the option to use animation cancelling effects to increase their skill use and damage output. Classes that take advantage of this include Mercedes, Blaster, Shade, Buccaneer, Cadena, and included in that list is Shadower. What if I told you that the 70 assassinates in 30 seconds we were getting earlier can actually be increased? say, to 80 or so. An additional 10 assassinate uses in the same time span as before would be a huge increase to overall damage. That's why many experienced shadowers attempt animation cancelling while weaving. Using Meso Explosion at an appropriate time will actually cancel the animation of A2 early, allowing you to start your next AAM rotation even sooner. This animation cancel can also be seen visually, even without attacking a target. On screen now, I am simply holding Assassinate to go through the animations normally, but if I start working and pressing Meso Explosion shortly after the A2 animation begins, you can see I am greatly reducing the animation length of A2, allowing me to start my next weave sooner. The key to good animation cancelling is getting used to the timing to do this consistently, attack after attack. The unfortunate thing is that the AAM rotation takes less than a second meaning that you are actively trying to animation cancel less than a second each time, which can quickly get overwhelming. For this reason, a lot of shadowers look for visual and audio cues while they are weaving to try to time their animation cancelling appropriately. Some shadowers use visual cues such as seeing their character or shadow partner reaching outwards as part of the A1 animation, meaning that the A2 animation to cancel is going to occur immediately after. Some shadowers use audio cues, which is definitely more difficult after Destiny, but once you pick up on the audio for the A1 animation, it means that the A2 animation to cancel is again going to occur immediately afterwards. This also allows them to look away from their characters during boss fights while still maintaining their animation cancelling rotation. Even as a Shadower main I struggle to do this sometimes, but with the keyboard settings we talked about earlier in the video it is much less punishing to practice doing this. 
most experienced shadowers shoot for a benchmark of 80 assassinates in 30 seconds. However, anything above 70 assassinates in 30 seconds is free damage, which means you're on the right track to doing it properly. At the end of the day, the most important thing is practice. Nothing talked about in this video will come immediately. It will take some getting used to, but once you have the feel for it down, you can start doing some pretty insane thing with shadowers. If you're looking for some expert shadower content, I would recommend checking out some people who are established in the community and frequently stream, such as Dubsley, Princess, and Blue X Desire. Links to their channels are in the description. I hope you gained some valuable information from watching this video. Shadower is a very fun class for every aspect of the game. They are so strong as mobbers that they are the main meso farming class in KMS. They are so strong as bossers that as of this video are in the top 25% of the DPM charts. They truly are a very rewarding class with excellent damage, mobility, and even party bossing utility. I hope that if you feel the same about the class, and that by following the guide today, you can maximize your experience with playing them. I'm just getting started on YouTube here, so a like and subscribe is always appreciated, and feel free to share this video with your friends who are looking to learn more about the class. I plan on making more videos to go over other tips and tricks with the class, so be sure to come back and check for those later. Until next time, this has been Chiseler, goodbye and good night.